five features we desire in the Samsung Galaxy S26 and Galaxy S26 Ultra. More storage, more megapixels, and greater zoom. With 2025 coming to an end, we're already looking ahead to 2026's phones, and the Samsung S26 series could be among the first, with a recent leak indicating that they could be introduced as early as January. Other leaks and rumors have given us a sense of what to expect from them, but that is not the focus of this video. Rather, this is what we expect from them, and it includes both possible and implausible features. But none of them are outlandish for a flagship phone. So from better batteries to more megapixels and beyond, here are our expectations for the Samsung Galaxy S26 series. 1. A silicon carbon battery. New Chinese phones appear to have higher capacity batteries with each passing year, and this has been especially true recently, since many have moved to silicon carbon batteries, which allow for a higher capacity without increasing the size of the battery itself. However, Samsung has yet to make this step, and the company is rapidly losing ground in terms of battery capacity. In fact, even rivals like Google and Apple, which have yet to make this step, are beginning to offer phones with larger battery capacities than Samsung. For whatever reason, Samsung appears hesitant to go beyond 5000 milliamps in its phones, but for the S26 series, particularly the S26 Ultra, we'd like to see the battery reach new heights. Ideally, it would use a silicon carbon structure to do this, as this would allow for larger increases while minimizing the phone's thickness. Will this occur? Probably not. There's no evidence that Samsung has used silicon carbon batteries here, or that it intends to equip any of these phones with a battery larger than 5000 milliamps. But the Samsung S26 may get a modest increase, with one report indicating a 4300 milliamps battery, up from 4000 milliamps in the Samsung Galaxy S25. Perhaps the most widely circulated leak comes from Samsung's own regional webpages. A new 60 watt super fast charger, model EPT6010, was briefly advertised, confirming that the S26 Ultra will finally surpass the 45 watt limit that has remained unchanged since the S20 Ultra. To accomplish this without increasing the thickness of the phone, Samsung is reportedly using silicon carbon battery technology. This high density chemistry enables greater capacity in the same physical area. According to current rumors, the capacity ranges between 5,200 and 5,750 milliamps. The S26 Ultra will also be the first Galaxy to support complete Qi2 integration. Unlike previous QI2 ready versions, the S26 Ultra will contain the inbuilt magnetic ring required for the standard, allowing it to interact smoothly with a new ecosystem of magnetic charges and modules. 2. Use a 10x telephoto camera. Samsung's Ultra phones were previously the Telephoto Kings, outperforming almost all competitors with 10x optical zooms. But then Samsung made an unusual decision. It switched these phones to a 5x optical zoom instead. They still have what Samsung calls a 10x optical quality zoom, but this is accomplished by cutting into the sensor, resulting in a smaller effective sensor area and a lower megapixel count. So it may be optical quality, but it's the optical quality you'd get from a much inferior camera. Not only that, but several rival cell phones provide 5x optical zoom, as well as optical quality options of their own, implying that Samsung has truly lost its lead in this regard. That's why we'd want to see a return to 10x optical zoom in the S26 Ultra. There's already a separate 3x zoom camera for when you don't need to zoom that far. So with this, we get the best of both worlds, and Samsung could reclaim its camera zoom crown, However, most sources indicate that there will be few, if any, modifications to the Samsung S26 Ultra's cameras, including its 5x zoom lens. 3. Faster charging. Samsung is lagging behind not only in terms of battery capacity, but also in terms of charging power, which is limited to very low levels. The Samsung Galaxy S25, for example, has a maximum charging power of 25 watt whereas the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra can only achieve 45 watt, with both phones limited to 15W wireless charging. To give you an idea of how much better things may be, the recently introduced OnePlus 15 supports 120 watt wired charging and 50 watt wireless charging, indicating that Samsung has a lot of catching up to do. 
Fortunately, it appears that the firm may have taken a modest step in the right direction, with some sources indicating that the S26 Ultra would support 60-watt wired charging and 25-watt wireless charging. So, while it's not quite where we want it to be, it's a start. 4. The same chipset is used everywhere. One interesting feature of the Samsung Galaxy S line is that various areas frequently receive different chipsets, with Samsung dividing them between its in-house Exynos series and more mainstream Qualcomm Snapdragon ones. This often implies that some nations receive significantly poorer versions of the phones, as one chipset is nearly always superior to the other, with Snapdragon devices having the advantage. So we'd like to see an end to this practice, so that buyers in certain areas don't get a worse deal than others. Unfortunately, it is unlikely to happen this time around, with sources indicating that a mix of Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 and Exynos 2600 chipsets would be used, but leaks hint that this Exynos model may be a better match for the Snapdragon than in previous years. 5. More Megapixels While some of the cameras on the Samsung S25 range have a lot of megapixels, others do not. For example, the 3X telephoto camera is only 10 megapixels across all models, while the ultra-wide camera is just 12 megapixels on the Samsung Galaxy S25 and the Samsung S25 Plus. Given how pricey these phones are, this isn't ideal, and while megapixels aren't the main consideration in photography, we can't claim these sensors are particularly noteworthy in other ways. So we'd want to see the Samsung S26 series enhanced, ideally with higher megapixels, as that's an easy feature to highlight, but if Samsung can also give larger sensors, that's even better. Will this occur? There is some disagreement among leakers about what Samsung has planned for the cameras, but we've heard that the 12 megapixels ultra-wide could be upgraded to 50 megapixels, and the 10 megapixels telephoto could be upgraded to 12 megapixels. So there's a chance at least some of the sensors will be improved this time around. While there were early rumors about a 320 megapixels or even 440 megapixels sensor, Samsung prudently chose to focus on the physics of the current 200 megapixels ISOCELL HP2. The main sensor is believed to have a much wider f/1.4 aperture, up from f/1.7. In photography, a larger aperture is the holy grail of low-light performance, allowing the sensor to capture up to 50% more light. This should finally address the shutter lag problems that have plagued Samsung flagships for years. The 3X telephoto upgrade. The outdated 10MP sensor will apparently be replaced by a 12 megapixels ISOCELL 3LD sensor. This improves HDR and accelerates autofocus, ensuring that mid-range portraits do not appear mushy when compared to the 5X periscope lens. Video codec. A new APV video codec option has been discovered in leaked releases, offering ProRes level quality for content creators without the huge file sizes traditionally associated with high-end video. One UI 8.5, the AI-first software experience. The software will be the focus of the S26 Ultra's marketing push. The device, which runs One UI 8.5, based on Android 16, will have proactive AI, Bixby 2.0 features an on-device large language model that enables sophisticated, multi-step actions across third-party apps. A Notification Summaries A program that leverages Samsung's GOS model to summarize your last 24 hours of alerts, highlighting only the most essential ones. The S26 Ultra will offer two-way satellite connectivity for emergency messages in remote places, similar to Apple and Google devices. Innovation on this magnitude is not inexpensive. With 2M silicon wafers, high-density silicon carbon batteries, and a $100 price increase for Snapdragon CPUs, the S26 Ultra is expected to start at $1,399. Samsung refers to this gadget as a mobile AI workstation, rather than just a phone. With the February launch window approaching, the S26 Ultra appears to be the ideal upgrade for anyone who already owns an S22 or S23 Ultra. It tackles the comfort concerns, charging delays, and camera mechanics in one sweeping swoop. The industry is currently dealing with a jump in hardware costs, with components like camera sensors, CPUs, and screens, particularly RAM, becoming significantly more expensive. 
these surges have greatly raised total production expenditures, higher salaries and a hostile market landscape that requires more expensive promotional activities exacerbate this issue, putting enormous strain on producers. If the tech giant chooses to pass on these inflated production costs to its audience by hiking the S26 retail price over its predecessor, sales volumes may suffer. In contrast, if the company chooses to absorb the financial loss in order to maintain prices unchanged, its margins will inevitably shrink. According to The Bell, this challenging trade-off has put the company at a crossroads in terms of pricing. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech news and updates.